Hey everyone, this is Rezi. Uh, before I jump into the breakdown, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone on Reddit who showed love on this animation. The response was honestly overwhelming, over 1000 upvotes, tons of great feedback and requests for full breakdown. I really didn't expect that all and it really motivated me to put this video together. In this breakdown, I'll walk you through exactly how I made the animation from Cinema 40 setup, lightning and the final polish and after effects. Hope it's helpful and if you got any questions or ideas for what I do cover next, just drop them in the comments. Okay, let's get started. Let's open the Cinema 4D view at this scene from another perspective to have the better understanding what is going on behind the scenes. Uh, we got the camera position right there. Uh, the animation starts with a simple camera zoom out, then these objects are appearing uh, with a simple a display tag and uh, position keyframes and a simple uh, radius. Once that happens, uh, this main object is deforming on uh, this side, so we got some anticipation and then it bends to this direction and what once that happens uh, it also affects this uh, main null which includes all the objects we have inside of it including the floor so it's kind of like object is creating some kind of like interaction with this one um, once that happens I then suddenly see the band direction is uh, changing so this is only possible once we animate the rotation keyframe uh, of the band. So let me show you guys how uh, the thing, how this things works. We got this simple uh, cube with high segments, of course. Uh, then we need to add some uh, band, put the, uh, that inside uh, the cube, and animate the strength. So. To change the direction of this strength, let's set this value right there. Uh, we need to animate the rotation. Just go inside the coordinates and set the keyframe in the moment we want to switch. And uh, let's uh, type here 180 degrees. And once that happens, our um, bending direction also changes to make the bending on the opposite direction. Okay, but there's a problem. Once the rotation is happening, the object, object's position is also changing. So to solve that problem, we're just gonna use uh, cube uh, keyframes uh, on the same moment from here. Just put the keyframe on the X and let's place this cube in initial position. So just we need to play around with the position just a bit there. Position is fixed, and now once we uh, animate this uh, strength to zero, we got this boom, boom, cool band animation. In the main uh, scene, we also got some anticipations and uh, easing ins and outs in the graph editor for that. So yeah, yeah I kind of like play around with the keyframes a lot. Uh, then uh, once that happens, um, at the same time the camera is starting to rotate around with uh, objects. Uh, let's uh, show off the lights for the first objects. So once the rotation is happening at the same time, the lights are following. This is just, uh, I just put this uh, light objects inside the camera null and once the rotation is happening, the lights are following as well. Once that happens, these uh, lights are switching off with the uh, intensity of the keyframes. Uh, and the other light setup is appearing at the same moment with the keyframes. So uh, we got the different light setup for uh, these objects right there, like this. But the transition we have right there uh, is just simple fast transition uh, with a display tag. Uh, so it turns off the visibility 
moment before it transitions. In this moment, uh, we turn on the visibility before it appears on the scene. So, and the same things goes for that. Once this ball hits to the floor, uh, these objects are disappearing and these objects are appearing just like this. I used uh, instance mode uh, to switch between objects and animated that to have the different objects in the same null and boom we got C40 logo let's see from the camera right now what we got and once it finishes then a tunnel is appearing and uh, zooms out uh, and zooms in and transitions it to the next scene uh, the tunnel was simply made with just uh, spline and a cloner let me show you guys this is how it works simple spline and rectangle sweep another sweep on the top and the tunnel animated that with a count and a little bit rotation and yeah this is it let me show you guys the material i have for this uh, cube uh, it's very simple material just specular uh, material uh, it's octane material and Inside the transmission, I used uh, this uh, gradient and a little bit roughness, and yeah, this is kind of like a pretty easy setup. For the light, as we see, this is simple two-point and three-point lights, nothing pretty complex. Also, I have the uh, different light setup for this tunnel, and it appears once the tunnel is appearing, right there. I got some colors for the tunnel. And also this light setup. Let me show you how this light setup is working right there. So it's kind of like um, creating uh, depth just like this. Let me show you on the scene. Yeah, simple two point lighting right there. And the scene, we got the same principle. We also got emission light coming from this object. And yeah, this is pretty it. Uh, we got some uh, bloom effect on top of our camera and post processing. And this is pretty it for the first scene. So let me show you uh, the uh, parts are made in After Effects. Uh, I added some flashy effects uh, right here. Uh, this light streaks I have, uh, I added in Cinema 4D and using sweep nerves and bent deformer. Uh, and uh, some light effects, I added this eye texture uh, on this sphere, some additional elements uh, like these lines and stuff and some little bit uh, cubes to make some glitchy moments and boom some little bit flare right there and yeah this is pretty it and once the scene is finished the second scene is appearing when this finger is hitting these objects and it creates some kind of like a uh, little bit wave let me show you guys how this made let's go inside this scene and I just made a simple mask and use that mask for CC glass and this creates cool glass effect. It's kind of like interesting. Also for the, for the next scene, uh, I used uh, this, I used the mask from uh, this cube to transition it to third scene. This mask was exported from Cinema 4D and it transitions to the final scene. Okay, let me show you guys uh, the this scene also, how it is made, made of. Uh, this scene is made with um, simple objects animations. We got some hands, I model it and then rigged that and animate it uh, and uh, I also yeah added the plane from the same cube to use that as the mask 
for transitioning to the next scene and yeah this is it and let me show you this part it's very simple just simple camera animation and uh, the character we got right there let me show you in another scene yeah this is simple character I modeled in C4D and then I rigged that model with Mixamel and we got this cool floating animation uh, of this character yeah this character is simple nothing too complex with a simple topology I always try to make the topology uh, clean as possible because clean topology is always working perfectly when animating the characters so it is very important okay this is it pretty much for this breakdown I hope you guys liked it if you wish to learn how I made this video step by step I will release uh, some kind of uh, little course how to make this animation so if you're interested uh, me to release the course just type in the comments that you're interested and I will start working on that as soon as I can. If you like this breakdown and in general this video, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel to stay updated to next videos I will make with the breakdowns and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.